guys, welcome back! Today we are doing another season, I guess, of the Different Faces Challenge. So we are on wife number three of Henry VIII, so Jane Seymour. And for our first Jane Seymour, I decided to go with maybe not the top pick for anybody. I don't even think she has a speaking role in this movie, but Corinne Galloway in The Other Boleyn Girl from 2008. I know I picked uh, Natalie Portman as one of the Anne Boleyns. I don't believe off the top of my head that I picked the Catherine of Aragon from that movie. But the reason why I picked this actress's Jane Seymour portrayal is mostly because she has a physical resemblance to the portrait and she just kind of gives that the vibe of Jane Boleyn that... Or Jane Boleyn, oh my goodness, no, Jane Seymour <laughs> that I was going for. Like, what am I going for? It just... I look at her and I could feasibly see her as being Jane Seymour, even if she didn't get really anything to work with. I wanted to recreate her face. She had an interesting face as well, but it was mostly it was a nose and just kind of the shape of her face and her eyes that just really seemed reminiscent of the portrait that we have of her. Like I said, this isn't probably the first face that comes to mind, or even the second or the third when you think of Jane Seymour, but we will be seeing some of the more popular versions of her down the road. I was actually surprised with how hard it was to narrow down the Jane Seymours. It, it, on the one hand, it was super easy because there were some that, to me, just did not physically look like how I would imagine Jane Seymour did. This is all subjective, but like Amelia Fox just doesn't... She's too, too doe-eyed, too pretty, just... I couldn't see her as being like the milksop or like quiet behind the scenes. Whether she was quiet because she was super smart or because she was doing what she was told, we don't know. We don't know a lot about Jane Seymour. Just physically speaking, Amelia Fox was one that I was able to remove early on. And actually, surprisingly, I can't remember, Kate something from Wolf Hall. I actually didn't really like... I liked her like acting, like her portrayal of Jane Seymour was really good, but she just doesn't really look like the portrait to me. Like her face is really short, she's got like a little button nose, and it just it, it wasn't right for me. So those two I was able to strike off the list, but there were some other ones that I struggled with. So you will see who I ended up ultimately picking. So I guess it's a little bit of a spoiler. I'm not choosing either of them as a Jane Seymour. But yeah, I was surprised. I was going to my list, I'm like, oh man, now that I'm not doing Catherine or Anne, there's probably going to be less options the further down the road that I get with the wives. Except I think Catherine Parr probably has a decent amount of portrayals in Catherine Howard, but like, Jane Seymour and Anne of Cleves, I think I was the worried about the most, because I was like, what if there's not seven portrayals that, like, I enjoy as that person? I mean, I could still make them, even if they were my preference, but yeah. And I actually got to choose some older portrayals as well. I really didn't do that past the 70s, I don't think, with Anne Boleyn or Catherine of Aragon, but there is an older portrayal for Jane Seymour on my list that I am very happy with. There are... Since movies have been made, there have been historical reenactments of Henry VIII and his dramas, so... There's quite a few. But for this particular one, this was actually an easy sim for me to make. I really enjoyed her face. She actually turned out a little bit... This, this sounds mean. I don't mean this in a mean way at all, but like cuter than I meant her to be. Which is not a bad thing, but yeah, she just kind of comes off as cute, ultimately, as like as a sim. I don't think that she's going to breed well in terms of children when we do the genetic part of this challenge. Like, I'm, I'm highly concerned about her babies with Henry VIII, but that's part of the fun. I don't think we're going to get much worse than some of those Anne Boleyn kids. I'm really hoping that we don't end up with another weird thruple, but who knows? I actually have a dedicated neighborhood to this now. I should plunk all the Catherine Americans down just so that I have them all there before I didn't have like, a dedicated neighborhood to my nonsense, but now it would just be kind of funny because I'll have the walk-bys and maybe I'll get some slapping. I did not get a single slap when I did the Anne Boleyn versus Henry VIII thing, and I was highly disappointed. I wanted some slapping. I don't have a no jealousy thing, like, no mods to stop the jealousy, and yet 
No slapping. What's up with that? That's all I wanted. That's that's what we deserve. But anyway, um, I did have a hard time picking her eye color. And her hair, I also was really upset because she had a widow's peak, like a prominent widow's peak, and I wanted that to show. But none of the hairlines that I have go down far enough. So I kind of picked a hair that has it, sort of, but yeah, I, I was disappointed. And later down the road, I tried to put a gable hood on her, and that, because I was like, well, I'll just take the hair off and put a gable hood, but like, no, I just was not able to win in this instance. There was just no getting the prominent widow's peak that I wanted, which is not a, a trait in any of the Jane Seymour portraits, but I like the little details that make him subtly different from one another. I don't want seven incredibly eerily looking, same looking women. Like that's, that's not fun. And so begins my hunt for my Jane Seymour dress, which I couldn't find. I don't think that the one I gave her is actually a dress that Jane Seymour has worn in any theatrical or TV show production type thing, but eh. That's the one bad thing. Of, I have a separate tutor folder, but like, I don't want to take out my normal body, body shop CC because I need that to make the sim. And so it results in me having to go through a lot of things that are not tutory. Although in my defense, a lot of tutor productions have things that are not tutory, so I might need some of that. I almost went with this dress because I liked the bodice on it, but it didn't have the jewelry and I didn't want to put separate jewelry on her. So I kept looking for something. Cause All About Style made a whole bunch of dresses for all the wives. I'm like 60% sure it's the right the right dress that was meant for her, but I'm not. No, it's not, because it's got jewels, now that I'm thinking about it. It's actually one I've recolored before, just for my own personal use, and I may try getting into recoloring again. I don't put things up for download because they are not... <laughs> they got problems, but for my own personal use, they're fine to use. And yeah, we're just about done. So let me know what you think about this Jane Seymour choice. Uh, if you were doing the Different Faces Challenge, which Jane Seymours would you select to create in The Sims? Is there anyone in particular who stands out as your favorite? Is there anyone who just you have a lot of nostalgia for, even if it's not your favorite portrayal? Definitely let me know in the comments down below. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it, because I'm saying that now and we're, we're not going to be weird about it, and I'm going to see you guys in the next one.